Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the My Creative Friends podcast, uh, where I get one, sometimes two artistic people to sit down, have a conversation with me. True. Today I got Jarek. What's up guys? Jarek, why don't you uh, introduce yourself a little bit? Introduce myself. Yeah, man. I'm a photographer based out of Toronto. I live in Mississauga, which is uh, in the GTA, which is the greater Toronto area. So I guess you can count it as Toronto, right? Yeah. So, man, I'm so proud. Like, I don't, I don't know if you've seen my videos, but every video I open up with, I'm a photographer based out of Mississauga. I'm trying to bring some cred to Saga City right now. If you okay, if you talk to people outside of Canada, do you tell them you're from Toronto? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Geography, man. Geography. <laughs> I'm all about it. Not not at all at the same time. So that's great. Um, I work full time in Milton. Yeah. And every time someone from the states asks us where we are, we just say we're from Toronto. Yeah. Cause it's easier that way yeah it's because like instead of taking the long route it's like yeah i'm from mississauga and they ask where yeah where is that oh well like there's toronto but we're side toronto okay but like like underneath or beside or like yeah. you know underneath are you under the ground like are you mole people or like you know like, <laughs> what are, what are you guys? Deep west how about we start off by you just telling us a little bit like how you got started like why'd you start shooting what was the first time you shot and you're like fuck i need to start doing this um okay the first time i started photography was in grade 10 so i took a photography class and uh it was all film and our teacher was kind of uh telling us directions what to shoot and stuff right so there was really no creativeness in there so he would tell us oh go shoot a flower go shoot a pine cone <laughs> go shoot a flower yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like things that you don't really want to take pictures of right it's just i guess he's trying to show us like different perspectives for each person yeah like what we see yeah but I stopped photography for a few years and then my cousin gave me a camera for my birthday and I didn't even use it until uh, my girlfriend at the time wanted to take pictures. I was like, oh, I have a camera, so let's go take pictures. Right. So that's when I kind of got started and then we broke up and I dropped the camera, like I left the camera in my room and it was just bad memories of my ex-girlfriend. Ah, uh, yeah. But I loved photography so much that I picked it up again mm -hmm. and yeah. I started doing portraits uh, because of my friend that does pageants and stuff. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. And then I met another friend that was doing photography as well. And then it just started from there. And that's where I met you. That's right. Yeah. Through the community. Yeah. The community is actually really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about community in a little bit. Yeah. Out of curiosity, what kind of camera was that? Do you remember? What I shot with first? Like your first camera. Yeah. Uh, it was a Canon T2i. Oh, T2i! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but that T3i was cool because, like, the T3i was mm -hmm. that was like the standard for all the YouTubers at the time. Everyone really? was using T3i's, yeah. Because then it had the flip out. No, that that's the T3. T3, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I had yeah, the you T2. had T2. I know yeah. you had the T2. Yeah. yeah, we're not talking about T2. T2 is you know, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no, it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> we we both started on that Canon life. You're still Canon though. No, I'm still Canon. Um. I mean, you can't you can't deny the Canon colors, right? So, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about that Sony man. I, I like I like it. It looks a little bit more cine, a little cinematic. So I kind of like it. I don't know. That's just me. Everyone's got a different thing, though. Yeah. Right? I mean, okay. I I'll admit that I was almost so close to jumping ship. Yeah. To Sony, and then once they got the update for the EOS R, I was like, nope. No. I'm just gonna stick with Canon because, yeah. like, with their updates, it's just. Everything is so precise now, just like Sony. So. Yeah. What are you shooting on now? I shoot on a Canon 6D right now. 6D? Okay. Yeah. The Mark 1. Mark 1, yeah. Dude, that thing's still good. Uh, I think it's better than the Mark 2 because of the, uh, the low light. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Oh, I can't even swear on this. No, it's okay. I already <laughs> sweared. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah. Um, like low light performance is better? Yeah. I don't think anyone's competing with Sony, though. Like on that level, like obviously you, you go up and then like you get into the C100s, C200s, you know, like then, um, then it's like not, I don't think it's comparable. Yeah. But like on like a DSLR slash mirrorless, like semi pro level, like us, mm -hmm. I think Sony's still the best for video. Yeah. No, I can't deny that. But like EOS R and the A7 III, A7 IV, or A7 R4 mm -hmm. is kind of like on par right now. Yeah. Because EOS R is also a photography camera, right? So I want to talk about something that we were just talking about, which mm -hmm. was community. Oh, yeah. So, like Jarek said, we met through the community. Um, mm -hmm. And, like, that's something I actually talk about in my videos sometimes. It's, like, when you're getting started, like, 
you're trying to meet people and you're trying to get better, just like find the meetups, right? And yeah. you're someone that actually hosts a lot of meetups and you've oh, done yeah. a lot of them. Personally, like I have it kind of written down here, but it's like, mm-hmm. like the two big things for me when I think of community and like, especially our community is like, for one, obviously it fuels the passion, mm-hmm. right? Like you see, you shoot something one way, but then you see like other people shooting things completely different. Like all of a sudden one guy picks up a hubcap on the side of the road and shoots through it. And you're like, yeah. oh my God, like I would never thought. Exactly. Right? Like that's crazy. Like I saw a guy get a plastic bag and put it into a ring and he shot through it. I was like, what? I don't, <laughs> what? I don't understand. Yeah. Like it was just cool. It just made it look yeah. really dreamy. I was like, huh. That's sick. That's smart. I'll look for leaves or like I'll look for something that's on the ground and I'll, mm-hmm. I'll like try to create that like lens obstruction, like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that depth. Cause I really like having something in the foreground and then the subject being middle ground and then yeah. the background having being bokeh out too. Yeah. Right. It's like layering it even more. Yeah. Just layers and just like having so much context and like what you're seeing as a whole photo is just like, you have to stare at it for a while. But like, that's something I would never learn to do if I didn't go to meetups. Cause oh, I exactly. just, you see everyone just picking up random stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like Or like people you know. just like laying on the ground. It's like, Wow, man, that's like, commitment. Those are OVOs, man. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing I want to touch on too. So like, mm-hmm. so I had a, uh, an ex-girlfriend mm-hmm. and like, I think like a lot of people, like, especially when it's not going well, like you kind of just ditch everything and you kind of just think like, you're focusing, focusing a lot of your efforts on just trying to make it work. And like, yep. and when you're so invested and in, in, in even, even if it's not falling apart, but like you, sometimes you just forget and stop pursuing the things that you really love to do. Mm-hmm. And then when you get, broken up with or you know something happens and yeah. now you're not with that person anymore then it's like you feel like you have nothing and it's because you like deserted this right and like yeah. any, so that's what happened for me like i wasn't shooting i wasn't shooting videos shooting photos yeah anything when i was with this girl and then she she broke up with me and i was like broken yeah and so like i didn't touch my camera for a while and then uh a friend of mine one day it was actually canada canada yeah. day he was like hey man like you want to come out like get your miserable ass out of your house <laughs> and like come out yeah and so we went down and that's where i met uh you know jess yeah yeah jess and gloria mm-hmm. so we met them too and that's the day i met them and like we w- watched walked around shot around mm-hmm. hung out grabbed a bite to eat and then went out and shot more until mm-hmm. like late in the night i'm like this is like fucking awesome yeah it's like super fun like when you have like very experienced people that are like so used to being in front of the camera and it's yeah. just like it's the work is just so seamless right like yeah. you don't have to tell them any direction or anything they're just having fun and they're, oh, yeah. they're down to just like do whatever and like you know like okay you want them to like stand on my hands and whatever you know what I mean? like <laughs> exactly like, go ahead, let's get the shot let's have some fun yeah and like that was like the first time i was like oh my god like this is so cool like there's a community here mm-hmm. when i first started um i was still kind of new and uh it was very intimidating meeting people that I know that numbers aren't supposed to uh, affect you or matter, but like you, once you see their Instagrams, like, wow, this person is like really big yeah. and like, you're kind of intimidated to like talk to them or like even, I don't know, just like DM them. Right. So I think that's how people kind of feel now about us. Cause like we're a bit bigger now. We've been in the community for quite some time. So. Dude, I, I just, this morning, I saw this guy's photo in Bangladesh mm. and I'm like, this is like amazing. So I shared it and he shared, he shared it on his story and he's like, this celebrity from Canada shared my photo. I'm like, I'm not a celebrity, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's funny though. Like, I feel like you start to like not care as much about that number, right? Like yeah. I remember going to the first meetup where I saw Phoenix oh, and I yeah. was like, dude, like, oh my God, like this guy's got like 30K football, like followers. Yeah. Like he, and you just, even just like being around Phoenix for the first time, he mm-hmm. just looks like he's you know, like a celeb. He doesn't act like it. he's no. like a very personable guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you just feel like you're in that presence. And so like that combined with like the followers and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so intimidated. Right? And then you just talk to him for like half an hour and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, you're just like a really cool dude. And like, yeah. you're just, yeah. So I think, yeah, like for one, like, like you said, like it just, it helps like get rid of that mental barrier. You just start to network with those people and other people, right? I don't know how many gigs I've gotten just through people at the community being like i can't do this gig can you do it exactly yeah right like it's great like hey if you're trying to start a business i'm not saying go into community with that selfish like kind of like <laughs> thing an angle but like you know there's a lot of positives just going out and connecting with other creatives yeah exactly right? even with like the community 
being filled with like a bunch of creatives that are like very very passionate um even with that like everyone kind of meshes together and they want to they kind of want to grow together as well that's yeah. why i kind of dove into the community and try like started doing meetups and started doing or like hosting a bunch of things like studio meetups or just meetups outside yeah um and then i met a bunch of other creatives that had the same mindset to to bring the community together yeah and that's how it all started right like it's but that's a cool thing too though because the moment you go into the community you realize there's no competition yeah everyone's just trying to do it yeah some people too when they get started they're concerned they're like there are so many photographers but at the same token like there are a lot of eyes to consume that content oh like, yeah don't worry about it you know like also with like support from the community like when people share your stuff on their story uh that that's very helpful as well because yeah. like a lot of people do that to each other um for example like i have a friend that shares my stuff every time i, po I post mm -hmm. and every time he posts i share it on my feed so mm -hmm. it's it's a two-way street right like it's not just gra like taking from other people yeah but also giving right so yeah man like I, I love the community it's awesome just before we leave the whole community talking part uh follow him on instagram i'm gonna have a little slide up banner like this watch that it's gonna show up it's not showing right now so it looks stupid when we're recording this <laughs> but uh there will be something there uh follow him also follow the dead of night society on facebook the link will be down below as well probably include a few other facebook groups mm -hmm. but uh yeah get involved join and uh start meeting some peeps but i had another question for you mm -hmm. and it's a fun one so <laughs> especially like with what you just told me like you want to start getting into video yeah so that's pretty cool but my question for you was like what what is a dream gig or client for you um oh wow um a or a don't don't take it as like this is the one <laughs> you know like um since i really really like sneakers i would really like to work with either nike or jordan yeah um i'm very passionate about shoes um i'm also very passionate about short films that cater to problems that we have in our modern world mm -hmm like depression and yeah. stress and stuff like breakups, but not like your traditional breakups, but like friendship breakups like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Cause no one really talks about losing friends and people just keep it to themselves. And it's something we all go through, but we never talk about. Yeah. Man, I love it. That's great. Yeah. I have a segment that I introducing right now. Mm -hmm. My first episode. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called behind the snap. Behind and the behind the snap. So I'm going to show you my my three favorite photos from you. Oh. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to show you photos and you're going to be like, okay, yeah, like I shot it here mm -hmm. and, and like this is what I was going for or like, you know, any, anything that comes to mind. It can be a funny story too, okay. right? So th I love this photo because like I said, I love mm -hmm. it when – I'll show you here. Oh. Oh. I, I love – I remember this that. Throwback, right? Yeah. I love it when, like I said before, you throw something in front and you create that layer, mm -hmm. right? And so that's what I really like about this. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so this was actually nearing the end of our shoot. So uh, the progression of my shoots are, are funny because, like, in the beginning, they're kind of okay. And by the end, it's just like, oh, man, these are so good. Dude, that's And you don't want to you don't want to stop. So it's like, oh, our time is up, so I have to go. Yeah. So we were shooting at Distillery District, as I think you can see, right? That's what I get, because you got, like, the, the brick, but then the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, basically, the what happened was that we went to the last spot, and then we saw this really nice um, old school, I think it was a Volkswagen uh, van. You know those, like, hippie oh, vans? Oh, like the, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this lady was selling, like, sunflowers, and it was like, oh, wow, this would be nice to shoot with flowers. So, we bought flowers, and we asked her if we can use her truck. That's so sweet. So, are you in the truck here? No, I was outside. Other window. Yeah. So I was, okay. that's actually the windshield. So what's this line here? Like, what are you shooting through? Uh, it's a lamppost. So it's a shadow of a lamppost. The shadow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was starting to think that. So this, like, what's on the left and right? That's actually just, that's just like, the light. That's just the light, the uh, like reflecting whatever's reflecting in the windshield. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. Oh, man, that's sweet. Do you want to give her a shout out? Who is that? Uh, that is Angela. Um, I think her tag is Angela Lala 
Well, X or something. Oh, we'll, 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 it, we'll get we'll the correct one. Yeah, yeah. We'll get it right, <laughs> right here. Here you go. Yeah, we'll put it up here. There you and go. um, yeah, I mean, she's a great model to work with. She's also a dancer. So if you guys are looking for content that, yeah, like if you shoot dancers or if you do videos for dancers, hit her up, you know? Sweet, man. I love it. This next one's like 190 degrees in the other direction. Eight, why in 190? 180 degrees. <laughs> I mean, 90? Oh, whoa. So, whoa. <laughs> this one was like, you dropped the feud like this. Yeah. And I was like, who is this? And then I like, Jarek, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what is going on? I'm like, it was fire. Like, it was yeah. so sick. And I'm assuming, mm -hmm. right, you saw Ready Player One. Yeah. And it's inspired by Ready Player One. Um. Okay, so this is very funny, actually. So there's actually three of us that took the same photo. <laughs> okay right so um i don't know if you're gonna put them up here but so there's three of us that took the same photo and we all posted it the same day okay and we all posted it on our stories and every, everyone was just like what the hell why is it all so different but it's the same photo so are they edited differently oh yeah oh, okay, okay, okay it's it's crazy because like i went more for yeah ready ready player one kind yeah. of uh, kind of vibe so with this it was a brand new year, so it was 20, I think it was 2019. Okay. Yeah, so the beginning of 2019, we were just like, I'm going to try something super different with whatever I'm doing right now. Yeah. So this came up to mind. Like, I got the shot, and I was like, I don't know what I want to do with it. And then I saw their edits, and I was like, I got to edit this really fast and then get this out, because <laughs> they all got it out, like, really fast. So I was like, okay, I have an idea. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, Ready Player One came up. That's and so sick. Yeah, it just it just looks like a movie poster, which but, is really cool. So here's my question: Does everyone else have like the this glass, like these glasses on, like this? Yeah, those LED glasses are just. So those are real. Those are real. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if that was like a post thing. No. Okay. It's a it's a real photo. Okay. Well, All right, it's a real it's real glasses. What do I say? Real photo. <laughs> it's a real photo. Yeah, not <laughs> illustrated. Yeah. I love it. It looks sick. Um, okay, so last one here is I think oh, you, you get this a lot. Okay, right? yeah, so. <laughs> this is this was like one of my last photos I've ever taken with my T two I. Yeah, and this is off the T two I. Yes, mother. Yes, That's sick. And okay. it's it's really sharp for like whatever a T two I can do, right? Like, I didn't think I was ever gonna get a, a shot like this with my T two I. Yeah, because I was seeing other people's cameras, like people were shooting with uh canon 5d mark threes and 6ds i was like man i'm just out here with my t2i <laughs> that's and, the one thing about shooting out with the community yeah it's like you'll walk out with your camera and someone always has like the like, newest one yeah or like the 5d mark IV or whatever. yeah like yeah but this turned out so well i was so surprised and then a lot of people were asking for prints of these of this photo i was yeah. like why? I'm not surprised. Dude, are you <laughs> kidding me? Dude, okay, I am a massive, massive fan. I actually just posted an Insta story this yeah. morning sharing someone's work, but I love like a cyan, like light blue mm -hmm. on red. It's just like the two colors are so beautiful together. I uh, I fully agree. I have a lot of people that, that I follow that love the cyan and what's the other one? The It's like purple or pinkish. Okay. Right, magenta, something like I that. I think magenta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this has been a uh, the uh, segment called what was it called again? <laughs> <laughs> Behind the snap. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, so you're a little late Jay, on the snap yeah. there. That's gonna be the new thing. The person's got to snap with me. Behind the snap, and then we go snap. Okay, let's try it out. Ready? Behind, Behind the, the snap. snap. Okay, we'll work on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so obviously, like. You shoot a lot of boudoir, and we haven't talked about that oh, yeah. at all. Uh, I also didn't want to. Maybe, maybe I'll post some photos that I mm -hmm. then won't get my video taken down. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, the only reason I said that is because no, YouTube's like I know, I know, they're, they're, they're so strict. Their new uh, rules now with the government, especially with the because of the kids. Yeah, yeah. So you have oh, to dude. say that it's not child friendly, and yeah. if you don't, you get fined. So you gotta be careful. You know, be careful with that. Yeah, you gotta say it's not child friendly because if kids watch it, you're can I get fined? A big fine. So. Massive. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, you actually get money fined? Mm -hmm. What? I thought your video just got taken down. No. Oh, oh I, I, those are not child friendly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs>
So Boudoir is really interesting to me because yeah. Boudoir went from being super niche to being mainstream, but you've been shooting it for a while. Yeah. Right? Like before, I think it was like everyone just trying to shoot it for clout and shit. Mm-hmm. But I guess like one question from me is like, obviously you talk a little bit how you started and what got you into photography, but how mm-hmm. did, how did you move into Boudoir? Like how did that happen? Um, that's actually a really funny story. So, okay. um, I think you shot with this model too. Ah, that was <laughs> that was <okay>. interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, um, are you? Do you still talk? Nah. Okay. So okay. So we, should just, tell, uh, we should tell a little story. But go ahead. Go ahead. But it was very funny because like I, uh, okay, I went into she DM'd me. It was like, oh, let's shoot like TFP. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm still kind of new, but it's okay. And then she's like, yeah, just come to my hotel. I was like, <laughs> sure. Um, and I got there and I was setting up. Yeah playing my flash on and everything and yeah she took off everything i was like so you had no idea that you were no i didn't even we didn't have a concept we just like oh let's just shoot she like took off her clothes and i was like i didn't really sign up for this but okay just show me some inspo and then we can work with it yeah yeah and then a lot of people saw that and then a lot of people i kind of got a lot of attention from it right so and then a lot of people started messaging me about boudoir and people are asking me about like, oh, how can I get into boudoir? And I was just like, just ask. Honestly, it's not hard to get into so, boudoir. So. Right. So do you find that it's mostly people asking you to do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I was going to ask. Like, what about like, have you ever reached out? Um, I've reached out to a couple people. But people that you've seen are like already doing that thing. So you know yeah. they're comfortable. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So what would be the best way probably for someone to start doing it if they wanted to? Mm. maybe looking at like maybe looking at insta like searching hashtag boudoir toronto or something like that um it it really depends so like if you're already in the community and you're already a photographer Mm -hmm. in the community um you could reach out to friends that are have like shot other boudoir models Uh, yeah, yeah. um and then they can give a good word for you or you could just like you know like go into their dms and just ask honestly if you don't ask you don't get yeah like that's with anybody. A lot of people say, oh, I really want to shoot with this person, but I don't think I'm good enough. But just ask. It's true. And usually they'll give you a chance. And if, you, if they don't give you a chance, it's just... It might say something about your work, but like... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's just certain styles that they go for. Yeah. Right? Like, they won't shoot for with everybody, but if they like your style, if they like your kind of edit, then... They wouldn't mind giving you a chance. That's with anybody, though. Not just boudoir. Yeah. yeah. I'm like 100% sure that when that timer hits 30 minutes, it's going to stop. 30 minutes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I don't have enough time to close out the show yet. You have to give me one sec. There you go. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay. Well. True. So I think I'm just going to seamlessly integrate this. Uh, and when I, mean, when I mean seamlessly, I mean I'm just going <laughs> to butt them together. <laughs> well... Jarek, this has been the show. I hope that was all right. Did you like it? That was good, actually. I'd definitely come back, you know. Good, man. I'll try to get you, like, a proper set and not shoot in my bedroom. Uh, <laughs> expose myself there. Uh, but, yeah, you guys, this has been uh, the My Creative Friends podcast. Again, Jarek was on. I appreciate you being on. Thank you so much. And uh, tune in next time. But until that next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment, you know. I gotta get better outros, man. That's what really comes out.